Let's talk about what to do if you rocked out a little too hard and broke your string. First, you need to remove both ends of the string. You'll feed this end through the nut. There. For this string though, we're gonna have to flip the tinker tar over and remove the back panel. Just get a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew each screw to remove the back panel. Remove the back panel and you can access the broken string here. Go ahead and just pull it through. Each Tinker Tar comes with extra strings. So to put the new one on, just grab a new one, tie a double knot in the end. After tying your double knot, you're going to thread the other end through the hole underneath the back panel. Pull the string all the way through until your double knot is secured. And turn your Tinker Tar over. Next, take the end of your string and thread it under the string hook and through the hole on the tuner. About two inches past, you're going to tie another double knot. Once your knot's in place, turn the tuner clockwise, making sure that the string is securely between the notches on the bridge and this end of the fingerboard. Keep turning until it feels like the string is nice and secure. Be very careful not to over tighten because you could break your string again and have to start all over. Now we can turn the Tinker Tar back over and replace the back panel. If you notice you've got some leftover string here and quite some distance between the hole in the tuner and your knot, go ahead and tie another one closer to the tuner to make sure that knot keeps your string from slipping back through. Once that's done, you can trim your string. If you notice as you're tuning that the tuner knob seems to be slipping a little bit, all you need to do is grab your screwdriver and tighten the bolt on the back of that as well. And now your Tinker Tar is ready to play with a fresh new string.